Hey everybody, it's Charlie with Panel Armor coming to you from Orlando. And yes, we are a proud PRP member. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today about our 48 and our 60 inch shipping boxes and specifically closing the bottoms. Uh, we've had some people say that they've been getting some parts showing up at the hub where the bottoms are coming off, uh, detached, and the parts are coming out. So I want to just uh, talk a little bit about the box first. First off, if you notice, the box is double wall and it's called a full overlap. So the actual overlap, the, the tab goes all the way side to side. So that gives you double wall on top of double wall. Pretty strong for the bottom of the door. So as far as attaching them, <clears throat> most people, packing tape. That's what we see most people using. It's just packing tape, which is fine to do, but you need to make sure you're doing it properly. The best way to do it is to take and run a piece of tape all the way down the length of the bottom of the door and maybe six to eight pieces that we would call straps to keep it together. Now what that does is that gives you closure all the way along the, the bottom edge. If you're only going to use six to eight straps, once they drag this across the concrete three or four times, it's going to break apart and the door is going to fall out. If you are using the product for the second or third or fourth time, please make sure you inspect the bottom of the box to make sure it is still attached properly. If not, take the time to reattach it. Next, we have glue. We glue just about everything we do here. This is Gorilla Glue. This is good stuff. This stuff expands about 200%. So we put a tiny bead just around the outer edge, about an inch to an inch and a half in, fold it over. We do take a little bit of tape, two or three straps, just to hold it until the glue hardens. It takes a couple hours for the Gorilla Glue to harden. Going back to some tape, we got good old duct tape, Gorilla Duct Tape. We just put a, you can put a piece right down the edge and again, another strap or two. This is going to hold up better for dragging it across the bottom of, or the, the cross docks and across the concrete floor. Next, we've got glue. We do use a commercial glue gun here for a lot of, a lot of purposes, a box closure gun. If you get the right glue, it's a cellulose glue. You can put the, a bead, just like everything else, a bead around the edge. This stuff dries, depending on your closure time, dries almost instantly. So a lot of times you won't have to put the piece of tape on there, but we do recommend it just for that extra added, added uh, protection. Lastly, we have a staple gun. Now this isn't a box gun. This is a plier staple. It actually will slide in the end. As you notice, you can't get all the way to the center. A lot of people have the box closure guns, which are the brass staples, and they put four or five staples in the bottom of it. And that holds it very well also. So as you see, there's several ways that you can, you can close the bottom of the box, but we want to make sure that everybody inspects it if you're going to use it again. It looks like some of the products that we've seen fall through, the box is maybe on a second, third, maybe fourth time. So please make sure you inspect the bottom of it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Panel Armor. Thank you very much. Have a great day.